Did you talk about Fortnite already? Uh, we can talk Fortnite how, real quick. How Fortnite's good, actually, and okay. no one knew. Everyone lied to you, and Fortnite's <laughs> actually pretty good. All right, so Fortnite. I, I historically I have ridiculed Fortnite, and mm -hmm. uh, and people have played Fortnite is big dummy idiot losers. This is, a, this is a hot take episode, by the way. So everything we say yeah, is factually go. based. There's there's no in betweens. Either everything's fucking rad as fuck, or it's fucking stupid as shit. There, there's only two yeah. options. So yeah, Fortnite. I, I I ridiculed it, but then Mace is like, dude, you gotta check it out. Fortnite. It's actually fucking rad as fuck. I'm just like, nah, dude. I don't like building shit. I just want to shoot dudes. That's why I play Apex. Apex is still my go-to multiplayer game. He's mm -hmm. like, but they took out the fucking building. I'm like, what? So I can play as Mandalorian and not have to do stupid shit. Mm -hmm. it's, it sounded like a good deal. You go in and just like, wow, it's actually, uh, it's actually a good time. The, the gunplay feels cool. They're constantly adding shit. Uh, Battle Pass is pretty smooth. It's, fuck, you fucking got me, dude. Fortnite is good. Yeah. I, I don't know what to Fortnite say. Fortnite is good. It's a shock to everybody. It should be at least that Fortnite is good. You know what? If it wasn't a shock to you that Fortnite is good, I don't want to talk to you. I, would, I, I think that's fair. <laughs> Like, like, I know they're still going to keep the no build mode, like, side thing. I don't know how well that population is realistically going to do. Well, that's all like, the older. Well, that's all the. That's all the boomers are gonna be on, right? The the, the old the old boys. Yeah, I mean that that would be the mode oh. that I would stick to. I I, mm -hmm. I really don't like the building. I, I don't like having. I don't like being able to shoot a dude, and I have the it's advantage. Fun. All of a sudden, he builds a fucking castle in front of me. You see, but then you break it, and then they fall, and it's really funny. I, I'm just not good at the breaking part, dude. I, I asked for consent yeah. before entering. Well, you're not really entering. You're oh, just uh, breaking. Yeah, you can catch it on fire if you want. Oh shit! It's funny. Give it a gun, Kyle. Kyle. Have have you played any Fortnite? Are you a Fortnite kid? I am. Fortnite. I am not a Fortnite, Fortnite player. player. Fortnite. -er. Have, have you tried the no building mode though? No building mode is tempting, but I've not tried it. No. I will play no building mode with you. Like okay. Right now. Have you played like Battlefield Heroes? Mm, no. Nope. Uh, Battlefield Heroes was an old. It was like like I think it ended in like 2011, 2012 or so. It was a free to play like cartoony style Battlefield game, and this feels like basically if you made battlefield heroes and then made it good but then put one part that everybody hates and then and now you finally took that out it's it's actually it's actually a good time i i'm mm -hmm. i'm fairly surprised the the new movement mechanics that they keep adding are super fun they added um sliding earlier and now they added a a, a, a double sprint and a and a and a, a vault keep, yeah just keep doing it i i think i'll go back to every once in a while to like play with friends mm -hmm. But yeah. just for like my taste personally, I'll probably I'll probably just wind oh. up sticking with Apex or maybe like Overwatch 2 when it comes out. But yeah, no, Fortnite's good. Fuck, I who, who would have fucking mm -hmm. thought that I would have been like, you know what, Fortnite's actually a good time. Well, speaking of Overwatch, did you see the the did Gundam Overwatch? Gundam. Oh, you're talking about the first person shooter thing? Yeah, I was gonna save that for whenever. Uh, uh -huh. Sylvia managed to get on because I know she'd uh -huh. freaking gush out about it. Oh, did I? Was I dumb? Oh no, I was dumb. Where, where oh, are you dumb? No. Oh, okay, no, it's right here. All right, we're good. No dummy mode activated? Big brain mode? No, I mean. You got so many hasn't, pieces hasn't, on your brain? Hasn't hit big brain mode yet, no. Oh, Winkle. So I'm still in the Winkle mode. Kyle, what, what was a game that you wanted to talk about? Uh, Norco, Game of the Year on Game Pass. I know nothing about Norco. Explain explain the premise to me as if I'm like a dumb idiot uh, five, five year old, which also means I probably play Fortnite. So, you know, th there's your target demographic. Uh, it's a point and click game. It's got a very good story. What is the story? That's all you need to know. Oh, I can't. It's not a long enough game for me to tell you enough. Uh, okay. It's basically the, the main character, her mom dies. So she has to go back to her hometown. Uh, it's also very anti-capitalist wow so it's pretty based then right it is pretty based in comrade pilled or your main weapon do uh, no i mean like yeah literally i guess yeah red pill oh. do you destroy your enemies with like hammers and sickles and uh sick youtube debate bros no no shit no. fuck i'm sensing your reluctancy to go into the details of it is it just one of those games where just the less you know the better yeah and like i said it's not a very long game so it's like i'm tr i don't want to say much because a lot of it is like based on how much you can discover and experience okay and because it's a short game there's like i just i don't want to give stuff away okay. but it, it it is it is very good and you said it's on it's game pass anyway right c game pass pc not console game oh pass, it's not on console okay oh, we're, not, we're not PC. we're not we're not poor we play we pay we play games on pc well you see that might be an issue because uh mm -hmm. i i have a big dick pc build but uh 
unfortunately, Xbox Game Pass on PC decides to be a little bitch every once in a while. We're just I I want to play the games on there. It doesn't want me to for whatever reason. So I will install it right now, but fuck, I don't know if it'll work. We'll have to wait and see. Is it worth the struggle? Is it worth the headache of actually turning on a computer? I would say yes. Okay, I will absolutely download it. Um, has anyone here played Tunic? Uh, I no. Heard, I heard good things about it. It's um, I guess we don't have to go too much. It's uh, at least the premise to me sounds interesting. It's uh, it seems like very Fez inspired, where the world has a whole bunch of secrets that are like in that are in plain sight, and you just don't know how to interact with them, even though you technically could right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, that's cool. And so that's, it took you twenty two. Yeah, basically. But so the game doesn't teach you outright how to do anything. You're collecting like pieces of your instruction manual like you would find for like an n64 like paper manual and mm -hmm. that's how you actually learn the game mechanics um so, so i haven't played it myself but that entire premise sounds incredibly interesting but also incredibly frustrating if you're not willing to spend the time on it i, I definitely want to go in and see how much time i can i can invest in that it's on game pass just uh there's this weird fucking monolith just sitting like in the middle of my backlog it's called like elden mm -hmm. ring or something it's like it's like it's like this, this weird indie game let's just say nah just nothing else exists at the moment so that that's my life unfortunately they did they did uh publish that game as well right who did i mean elden ring excuse me they did like publish they developed and published it that's the definition of indie to me did they publish i thought namco published their stuff you know you might be right i'm I'm, I, let's, let's, if we can circle back to the why original you, why, topic, I'm dumb. Why are you disrespecting my boy Namco? Well, Namco... You know how much good mm, stuff they've done for fucking uh, Dragon Ball, bro? Uh, you just I mean, there's something Dragon that they're not now. doing. There's something that they're not doing that's kind of annoying. But, you know, it's alright. It's, it's all good. Disrespecting my boy Namco. You're right. Um, I'm dumb. Excuse me. Oh, wait. They launched it themselves in Japan. So it's an indie game in Japan. Okay, got it. Well, everyone knows Japan doesn't matter. Yeah, the, the Japanese indie game, Elden Ring. Everyone knows, everyone knows the Japanese people don't play video games. It's true. I mean, they just read anime. I, I don't, I don't see them in the Call of Duty tournaments. So clearly, yeah, clearly, <laughs> they, they don't know what's up. Has anyone played uh, Weird West? No, no I heard not. it was isometric, so I didn't. Are you just <laughs> aim here? Are you, are you just morally <laughs> opposed? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Did it didn't both of you like love Hades, and that's that's isometric. I never touched Hades. What well, Hades touched. also Hades also isn't a shooter. Like so, it's different. It's, it's a different type of game. So like, you I'm, say, not, I'm not. You, I'm not inherently opposed to isometric games. I don't enjoy isometric shooters. So you're saying you like Hades? Yes. No, because I know where you're going with this. <laughs> you already know where. Fuck, it's not gonna work. Shit. Um, uh, Weird West. It's a. Uh, isometric uh immersive sim by some ex arcane studio guys so kind of like in the vein of prey and uh dishonored has some of that dna in there it's actually like crazy in depth that you wouldn't maybe necessarily expect from uh from isometric games nowadays except for like maybe uh baldur's gate 3 divinity it kind of has like that kind of in-depth uh mechanics where you can interact with basically everything in the world uh different factions and people just like individual families like at farmsteads like they're constantly getting you to fuck with other people at farmsteads that fucks with your reputation you go murder a family and then the the little baby boy that you can't murder he runs away he's like oh fuck you i'm gonna remember you and then they're gonna send people after you to become like nemesis the Messi, kind of like in the um, kind of how uh, Shadow of Mordor does it, which is pretty cool. It's definitely a weird West uh, Western shooter game. There's like vampires and werewolves, and I won't get too much into the story stuff. But you have to um, deal with the vampires and werewolves. Yeah, you have to shoot them. Except they're really fucking hard. Like most of the game on normal, it's kind of like a breeze. You can't necessarily run out like a jackass. You got to use cover, or whatever. But when a vampire is coming at you, you you can't hide behind cover. This motherfucker is going to rush you and claw you, and you're dead like in two hits. Um, so I I would you, say that there's some pretty buy, like, silver bullets. Are, I I only got like a good five hours in. I believe there might be silver okay. bullets, but okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's but, important. But difficulty scaling's a little bit all over the place it's on game pass i'd say it's worth checking out um do not play this with a gamepad everything about it controls beautifully on a on xbox one control uh gamepad mm -hmm. but uh what might be like the most important factor in a twin stick shooter what, what would you say that might be uh one more time sorry what would be the most important factor of a twin stick shooter what what verb are you doing like the most consistently in one of those games um the moving <laughs> <Fuck off. laughs> 
no. God damn it. Yeah, move, they, moving, yeah, moving, yeah. The, the, the shooting, uh, the, the aiming sucks oh. on a gamepad. It, oh. it, it's it's awful. Uh, play play this on a mouse and keyboard if you can. I don't know if the Xbox One has native support. Uh, uh, the, if if the game on Xbox One has native support for mouse and keyboard, but yeah, it's 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 pretty awful on gamepad. So I would say avoid that. 